joining us right now are Pritzker Group managing partner J.B. Pritzker and Tony Pritzker. Uh, good to see you both. Thank you so much for Great joining us. Great to see you. Thanks Not for to mention you. the family's interest in the hotel business. So you guys right. have a, a fantastic vantage point in terms of what's going on in the economy of right now. So let me kick it off with you. Uh, J.B., let me, what, how would you characterize the economy today? Tell me where the growth is and where the sort of the laggards remain. Sure. Well, first of all, I'd say that things have sort of, um, you know, uh, flattened out uh, from my perspective. You see across a number of industries, you know, manufacturing in particular, there's been a little bit of a, a dip. Um, but I think overall innovation, for example, investing in growth for the future is still going on. That's hugely important as far as I'm concerned if you want to see growth over the next 10 years. And I think companies are finally, you know, those big coffers of cash, including ours, by the way, are being invested in, you know, capital equipment and trying to sort of boost our, our companies for the future. See, we just had Mark Weinberg on from EY, and he was basically saying people are sitting on cash. And while we want to see them invest in R&D and in, in, in infrastructure, they're not doing enough of it. Well, I think there's a lot of investment in innovation. Okay. I think it's, it's look, I, I think companies are trying to sort of figure out how do I rev up the engine. Yeah. And so there is a lot in trying to figure out, you know, what is the, how do I turn the dials to make that work? Yeah, I'm not saying they're going all in as if okay. demand is picked up significantly. Tony, one of the growth stories for sure has been health care. Yeah. Talk to us about what's behind this euphoria because you're seeing hospitals across the country getting rewired. You're seeing all way, right. new ways of doing things, longevity, a major theme. Well, <clears throat> we've, uh, we've had growth in health care for a variety of reasons. Again, technology is making a big difference in saving lives. Uh, development of drugs, development of devices has really stayed steady because there are so many changes, so many inventions going on. And the result is that that is making, uh, allowing people to live longer. And that's a real opportunity. Uh, from an investment standpoint, we like being in healthcare because it's a strong part of the economy. Uh, people are very focused on uh, how to serve everyone and how to serve them cost effectively. Yeah, well, that's what we're, we're all, I mean, the cost is obviously the story there, but getting ahead of disease is enabling us to live longer, and I love that part of the story. Um, when you look at the hotel business, obviously your interest in, in the hotel business go far and deep, the family. Does it worry you that the Chinese have been acquiring more and more hotels? JB, what do you think about this? It doesn't mean, worry me at all. No? In fact, I think it's great for the U.S. economy that the Chinese are coming and investing significantly. Like, for in, example, in President business. Obama won't even stay at the Waldorf Astoria anymore because it's owned by the Chinese because they're going to bug the rooms. Well, I, look, uh, security is another issue. I, I don't think that's going to be an issue for most American guests. Obviously, the U.S. Okay. president going anywhere has got to be careful. But uh, in general, the Chinese have, you know, looked for ways to get their cash out of the country. And a lot of it's coming to the U.S., and I think that's happening around the world. And I think we'll drive the economy to some degree going forward, because where else are you going to go? And really? you have to think about it as investment. If you look 30 years ago in the mid 80s, Japan, was doing, Japan was doing the same thing. If you remember, everybody was up in arms when the Japanese bought Rockefeller. And Center. then they overpaid. And then they overpaid. Right. And so if the dollars are coming here, that means the U.S. is a good place to invest. Second, I think that the Chinese are really trying to get dollars out of the country. All of these issues are front and center for the voter today. What's your take on the election? Um, I mean, immigration, manufacturing, these are issues that are important to the American people and they're voting with it. Yeah, well, clearly, you know, you got uh, incomes have been flat over the last number of years. Right. It's obviously upsetting to a number of people and should be. Um, we've got to start bringing the economy up. And that means, of course, we talked about investing in innovation. I think that's going to be critically important. And I think the candidates are talking about that more than ever before. Um, so I think that's good. And of course, you know, in my opinion, we've got to raise the minimum wage. Um, that's very important. I'm a supporter of, of Secretary Clinton. Um, I think she's going to do a rational and good job um, of helping to build the economy and also to focus on, you know, the average worker who's frankly, you know, who's been left out of the improvement in the economy over the last seven years. And while I've been working more the other side of the aisle, uh, you know, things like Trade Promotion Authority is something that we should get our elected officials behind because it gives us the ability to negotiate with these countries. 
right now it's a little bit convoluted. So are you a Trump supporter? I am a Republican supporter. Will you support Trump if he's the nominee? I'll support the Republican nominee. Whoever it is. Well, you're no, not, not. So who I, do you I want? John Casey or Ted Cruz? I, well, I was a Rubio supporter, and I think that Marco's a terrific guy. But I think there were lots of terrific candidates who fell out. I, I, I look more down ticket, and I think that in the Senate, there are lots of uh, contested races I know. that Republicans are going to have to try and win. Uh, to keep control of the Senate. Yeah, for sure. I don't know how you have dinner together. I mean, you're like on completely different sides. Well, and remember, our sister Penny right. is, is Obama's President supporter. Obama's it's, Commerce Secretary. There's a lot of debate in our house. A lot of, and, and I love it. That's a rich and healthy debate. Yeah. And and being in manufacturing, obviously, this is one of the key key issues for for both sides. General, thank you.